Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Interactively Play Morrowind with me, Variax, in a super special secret, well not really secret, but yeah, subscriber special for 15,000 subscribers. 15,000 subscribers. It's rather a lot of people watching my videos, so thanks. You'll notice that this game, no really thanks, I mean it's it's it's, it's excellent, proper is. I don't want to gloss over that actually, and I shouldn't. It's um... It's 15,000 people watching my videos, so uh, it's, it's pretty damn amazing, pretty damn amazing. So thank you all very much for watching, and um, it's pretty damn awesome that, that you enjoy my videos that much. Alright then, I'm just going to turn this down in my headphones because it's really, really loud, and um, we're going to play Interactive Morrowind. Uh, I'm going to get to the suggestion first before I forget the name of the dude whose name was Red Baronat, or Red Baronat, Red Baronat, something like that. Um, yeah, he suggested that I kill kill 50 cliff racers with 50 different weapons. That's what we're doing. It's the special. Uh, in this one and only one, one, uh, one off interactive Morrowind session. Just uh, taking a little look around here. Now, you notice the game looks different. It's because I have a graphics mod installed. Um, I did it because I felt like doing it one day. I have mentioned before. I'm gonna take my time a little bit, by the way. I'm just—I'm not gonna rush through this like I well, like I didn't rush, but you know, I, I'm gonna take a little more time over what I'm doing this time. Um, but yeah, um, I installed the graphics mod. Now I've always said the graphics don't make a game or anything, um, and I still hold by by that. So why would I install the graphics mod? Well, um, to see what the Morrowind engine is capable of, and it's capable of a lot, as you'll find out. And also because uh, graphics do add to immersion, they do. You know, I can't take away from that. But the uh, graphics should not. The game should not be about graphics. Right. Um, anyway, link in the description to the mod that I'm using. Um, it's all one mod. We also have a nice little orc person here. Hello, Mr. Orc. How you doing? You're in my house, by the way. He's in my house. Right. So 50 different. The the main thing here is we have to find 50 different bloody weapons and be able to carry them. Um, so, yeah, different items and different, 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 no, I don't agree with all of these, by the way, but, um, I'm, I'm gonna leave my choices, uh, my, 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 sort of thoughts about the mod to a, to a minimum, because this is not about the mod, this is about the suggestion. Now, I'm sure I can, I can collect 50 weapons up, that's no problems. I'm gonna say, like, a glass, say, um, a a, a glass dagger is sort of the same as um, a glass jinx blade, you know, because it's still a glass dagger, it's just got a slightly different enchantment on it. Um, unless it's unique, like the Saint's Black Sword, which is essentially an ebony, an, an ebony short sword, I think. Um, I'm going to count that as separate because it's, it's, it's got a different sort of name to it, I think. But anyway, so this glass fire sword is basically a glass long sword, but it's got a like a fire sword at the end of it because it does fire damage, but it's technically just a so you know it's not unique. Whereas the whatever the hell I was pointing at, yeah, that's unique, that is not so you know, unique weapons I can use, but um, enchanted weapons um, are just counted as, as the glass counterparts or whatever the normal counterparts. Um, so I'm going to use I think one of the best way of doing this is doing it in stages. So rather than gathering 50 weapons up, we're going to um. Go out, use every weapon we have in our inventory, and make a tally, and then um, and then come back and use and use different weapons and, and so on and so forth. We are, we're basically just going on a cliff racer sort of uh, hunt here, pretty much. Now you're going to have to also forgive me if I'm a little bit slow with the game because I um, don't, I haven't played this in a while. Put it in a stream. Um, couple of months ago really but yeah I haven't um, played this at all um, for, for well since I finished the game pretty much since I finished the LP so it has been a while so you'll forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty but you know I did play it for a, a lot a long time I obviously placed it a little bit when I installed the mod as well but yeah I'm still gonna be a little bit iffy no no okay now some of the uh, some of the sounds might not be right, you know, the, it might, the sound level might be not be up to scratch or whatever, but I'm not all together all that concerned about that. It's only the one-off video anyway. Um, right, so, I saw one just then. Alright, there's one. So, we're gonna kill the first one with gold brand, because it was on hockey number one. That's how I decided that. So, 
So now, actually I'm going to wait till it gets light. Well, I can't now because it's, it's, it's enemies nearby. But it's too dark. It's too dark. <laughs> Hello! Alright, one. Right, attack me then. Please attack me. Hello? Right. That's typical, that, isn't it? First time you want some uh, Glyphoris to actually attack you, it doesn't. Alright, that's Goldbrand done. Next we have... Oh, Variax is enchantment. No, we just want... We just want Variax. Here's Variax. We should save Variax to last, I guess, maybe, but we won't. Because that just overcomplicates things. Hello, I have a vague memory of you while you're there, but I don't remember. I think you're off the top of my house and I lured you down here. Alright, come on then. Where's another one? What time is it? Oh, it's a scam, so this isn't going to count. Alright, you're dead. There we are. Alright. Oh, there we are. Now you're all lining up. Okay. Come on then. I guess, like, a weapon, like... Arrows could be counted as weapons, so like I can count, I can kill something with a kiting arrow, and I could count something with, uh, kill something with like a, an iron arrow or whatever. I could do that. Um, Goldbrand, we've done. All right, Keening, let's kill something with Keening. Come on. <coughs> oh damn it! Yeah, I wasn't wearing Rift Guard. Bloody hell! Does that count? You know that counts. That counts. So we've killed two. We've killed two before our first death. <laughs> Because I can't wear that without without Wraith Guard. Bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. Right, so we could... Well, that, that means, actually, that we could... I meant to do that. Because now... No, not the Ball of Shadows. You stay in there. Stay in there. Um, now we can get rid of Goldbrand. And that. And we can pick up... Oh, I don't know. Uh, this spear. This bow. This axe. Not the hammer. That's really, really, really heavy. Um... A glass jinx blade, uh, ebony spear, a fiend tanto. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, okay, still move. Oh, I got loads. Uh, skull crusher, absolutely. That's heavy. A knife? No, not a silverware knife. No. Um, ebony short sword. Yep. Okay. Scourge. Fine. Silver long sword. Okay. Mason Molag Bal. Okay. Deadly long sword. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Um. Desert Dagger, Orkish Barlax. Now I can't move. Bloody hell. Alright, I'll drop the... Where, where's... That weighs 30. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Still can't move because I, I need to drink one bloody potion or something. No, fine. Just drink these. Drink them. Drink... God damn it! Just... Alright, turn invisible. Turn invisible. Look at all this stuff I've got. Thank you. Alright, now I'm invisible. Hooray. Well, not, not for long. Now there's going to be a lot of inventory sorting in this, um, but that's in the, an inevitable uh, sort of uh, part of the suggestion, I'm afraid. It's just going to happen. Um, people need to sort of be aware of that sort of thing when they suggest things. I, I, I'm going to say that I, I got a bunch of uh, suggestions that weren't that good, that were pretty unreasonable and pretty unrealistic. and. Um, not really very appropriate. For example, one was to start interactive Morrowind again. Um, um, the other one was to finish two lots of main quests. I think you're over overestimating how much time I'm willing to put into this uh, here special. This is going to take a while. I'm on two right now. Two. Um, but yeah, guys. Seriously. Um, that's that's just no. silly. No. Again, no. He said no. He said no. It was quiet though, so you probably didn't hear that. But he said, he said no both times now. Well, it's raining, which is nice, I suppose. Oh, it's also um, very like unmusicy. Wait a minute, options, probably because music is on maximum. Well, what's that? What's up with that then? Music. Where are you? It's my favourite film score, and it's not there! Film score? No, that would be wrong, because this is a game. Game score would probably be um, more accurate. Yeah, yeah, it's my it's my favourite game score ever composed, is uh, the Morrowind one. Gotta say. There we go, I'm being attacked by some. By a winged twilight. Alright then. Um, let's clip this. Equip it. Oh, I don't have any arrows. I don't have any arrows equipped. Do I have any arrows? I should have. I should have. Where would where would arrows be kept? Uh, in weapons, probably. Uh, there's some silver arrows there. Okay, there we go. And we can also kill the. Uh, 
Kill that with a silver arrow. So there you go, that's a silver arrow done. 